We're one week away from a rare science treat, an eclipse across the United States, including here in the tri-state. It's going to be a total eclipse for people in places like Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, but in Cincinnati, it's going to only be a partial eclipse. So we're going to have about 90% of the sun blocked out by the moon. There's still time to get approved eclipse glasses or find shade 14 welders glasses, but Regis says there are other safe viewing methods. You can also do it uh, simpler and cheaper too. You can just put a pinhole in a piece of paper, let the light come through onto the ground and you actually see an image of the eclipse. You can also use binoculars, but not the way you normally use them. You have your back to the sun and you hold the binoculars in front of you, let the sunlight come backwards through the binoculars down onto the ground and you can actually focus it if you can hold your hands just steady enough and get the sun to come right through there. If you're feeling more crafty, you might try making a sun funnel. You take a normal telescope, uh, add a kind of longer funnel to it. We got ours at a hardware store and we adapt it to go through the eyepiece or have the eyepiece go through it and it can project an image of the sun onto wax paper or a projection screen material. The Cincinnati Observatory in Mount Lookout will be open from noon to 4 p.m. next Monday for the eclipse. We're going to have some safe viewing methods, eclipse glasses, welders glasses, the sun funnel. Whether you view the eclipse safely at home or here at the Cincinnati Observatory, don't forget, weather plays a part in this. A cloudy day means we won't see much. Even if it's going to be 90% blocked, you won't notice anything if there's clouds. So we're hoping for good weather in Cincinnati. Rain or shine, August 21st is the perfect day to learn about safety and space. This can be a really great moment, a great teachable moment for people of all ages to kind of get inspired by science. I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.